If you look back at my review on the monkey feet, I mentioned that companies will find cheaper alternatives to grip weights with your feet. Well, a few months later, and there are many companies that have done this. They have products ranging from incredible to absolute pieces of shit. One such company that you may be familiar with is Nordstick, and I have to say they absolutely hit the mark with their Omni Strap. In this review, I'm gonna explain why the Omni Strap is possibly better than the monkey feet, both in terms of cost and versatility, and uh, maybe help you decide uh, which product you wanna get. This will be a review primarily on the Omni Strap, although I cannot review the Omni Strap without comparing it to the Monkey Feet. So I will be bringing up the Monkey Feet throughout the review, and uh, I know you guys want it, so I will have a dedicated section at the end doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Monkey Feet to the Omni Strap and give my opinion on which one I think would be uh, better for you. Before we hop into the review, I just want to showcase my new buckle from the Just Survive 125. 125-mile uh, race uh, from Hope Sound Beach out to Lake Okeechobee, uh, back to the beach. Uh, amazing race, grueling adventure. I actually set the course record. That video is live now, so I uh, hope you guys go check that out. But uh, now that's over, uh, time to get to the review. As always, we're gonna start with build quality. And with build quality, the first thing I notice with the Omni Strap is the stitching. The stitching does raise from uh, incredible to Eh, all right. What I like about the stitching is that it's strongest in the areas that will experience the most force. Uh, for instance, the part that secures the weight to your feet, very good stitch, very strong. That's not gonna tear very easily at all. Areas of mediocre stitching include areas around the Velcro. Uh, the Velcro is held on with a single stitch all the way around. Again, you're not gonna experience much force in this direction, more this direction. So that doesn't necessarily need to be the strongest stitch. However, uh, it's very strong Velcro. If you're familiar with uh, sewing, you have a sewing needle, a sewing machine, you can easily fix this. But I would have liked to see a double stitch instead of the single stitch that they used. Next would be the weight straps that actually hold the weights to your feet. These are very thin, very lightweight. I couldn't imagine you loading these up with enough weights uh, that would cause it to break or snap. I feel comfortable holding about 50, 60 pounds with them maybe a bit more. One negative I see to these straps, however, is that they are thin, they are lightweight, and they will start to fray after time, especially if you use neural dumbbells. That's, that's gonna be unavoidable. That's a bit of a negative. Uh, at this price point, it's kind of expected to be seen. The good news is, this is a very cheap material. Uh, it's easy to replace. You can find these straps anywhere, so uh, for a few pennies, you can find some replacement material. That is something that you're gonna have to look out for if you do get the Omni strap. Next up is the ankle strap itself. It's very well padded. It's a gel-like squishy material, and I was actually surprised at how comfortable it felt when I put the Omni strap on. It's definitely cushioned enough to feel comfortable without sacrificing stability. If you look on Amazon, you can find many cheaper uh, types of products that resemble the Omni strap. They use no padding for this ankle strap. It's gonna be pretty uncomfortable. This is a feature that, again, really sets the Omni strap apart from the cheaper versions and uh, really justifies that price point, uh, why it would be 10, $15 more expensive than uh, some of the other competitors that you may see on Amazon. Overall, I'd say the quality is adequate. If I had to choose where I think it would break down, again, I think these thin straps would wear down first and foremost. Next, over long-term use, uh, these anchor points, uh, they're stitched in, uh, those are gonna eventually fail. However, we're talking maybe a year, two, three down the line with some moderate to heavy use. If you're someone that uses very lightweight or infrequently, uh, this thing's probably gonna last forever, honestly. Now we're gonna go into some of the features of the Omni Strap. The major benefit of the Omni Strap is that you can lift practically anything. One complaint of the monkey feet is that some dumbbells, some kettlebells weren't able to be picked up by the monkey feet's uh, bottom. With the Omni Strap, as long as you can wrap this strap around it, you can lift practically anything. Most people will be using generic dumbbells and kettlebells, so uh, either the monkey feet or the Omni Strap should work for you, but it is nice to have that versatility. Next is the securing mechanism. The securing mechanism is, it's okay. Each side needs to be tightened individually to dial in that proper fit, but they provide a very secure fit to your shoe once you find that sweet spot. I was concerned about how tightly it would have to be in order to secure the weight to my foot and prevent wiggling, but with a shoe on, it is snug yet comfortable. Another feature Nordstick added was an attachment for resistance bands or cable machines. This is actually a feature absent from the monkey feet and will reduce the number of items in your gym bag if you already have a set of ankle attachments or if you were thinking about buying a pair. These could have been easily left off the Omni strap and I wouldn't have noticed, but 
when I got it, when I opened it, when I saw it had those, uh, I thought it was a really nice touch and again, added to that $35 value. In my monkey feet video, I praised them for being pretty compact and lightweight. However, uh, the Omni strap, as you see, uh, really takes the prize in that category. They pack up incredibly small. They will not add any bulk to your gym bag, your backpack, you can even shove them in your pocket. Obviously, home gym users won't really care much about this packability, but I transfer mine to and from work, so the smaller form factor is a definite positive for me. I'm not gonna go into all the different exercises you can do with the Omni strap. I'm not here to convince you why gripping weights with your feet is beneficial. Uh, I'm assuming that's why you're already here. You already either know it's beneficial or want to uh, start gripping weights with your feet. Uh, so I'm gonna skip all the main exercises. However, some exercises you can do with the Omni strap that you cannot do with the monkey feet include tibialis raises and pretty much any sort of ankle mobility exercises. To perform a tib raise, if you position the weight over your toes and tighten the straps, the weight can be anchored to the end of your foot instead of the middle of your foot. This allows flexion of the ankle and performance of single leg tibialis raises. I've seen some foot attachments for tibialis raises go for as high as $150. And while those higher end items do have some benefits, the Omni Strap is perfect for beginners that just want to start getting into tibialis raises and are on a budget. While there aren't many negatives, I do have some areas that I want to point out that could use some improvement. The first negative is that you have to use shoes when you use the Omni Strap. For many users, this might not be an issue, but me personally, I like working out barefoot. I like working out in my backyard without shoes. So when I do have to do sets with the Omni Strap, I do have to get a pair of shoes on. Honestly, not a big deal, but if you're someone that likes to work out barefoot like me, that is a consideration. Next, those straps that secure the weight to your feet, they do take some getting used to. It took me a day or two to get used to which side to tighten. Uh, you have to tighten one side at a time. Uh, additionally, if you want a very secure fit, you have to pull uh, pretty hard. Uh, for most people, it shouldn't be an issue, but if you have very weak finger strength, uh, this should definitely be a consideration for you because you have to pull it pretty hard if you want to get that tight, secure fit. The last negative, I would say that the stitching could be stronger in some areas. Again, as I mentioned, around that Velcro, that single stitch needs to be a double stitch. But again, at that $35 price point, uh, I think it's adequate. I think it absolutely meets expectations there. It really is the strongest where it absolutely needs to be, where the weight is anchored to your foot. Very strong stitching. Where these half circle rings are secured, very strong stitching. You're not gonna be in the middle of performing an exercise and one of these rings just rip out. Uh, that's absolutely not gonna happen. Okay, now for the section that everyone probably jumped right ahead to and skipped the entire first part of the video. Uh, <laughs> this is for you. What I wanna go over first is the ease of use. Both products are extremely easy to use, very accessible, but I would give the edge to the monkey feet. This is because that ratchet mechanism of the monkey feet, extremely simple to use, it provides the same exact fit every time you put this on your foot, swapping feet, you tighten it to a certain point, you know exactly how it's gonna feel, you know how it's gonna fit. The Omni Strap, on the other hand, requires a bit more time to adjust each side. Uh, you have to tighten one side at a time. Uh, in my opinion, that's the easiest. You tighten it once, twice, three, four times. That's what I've seen the best results in. Uh, however, if we're talking about swapping weights back and forth between one foot to the other, uh, each product is gonna have you uh, really fast, uh, probably not noticeable, but uh, again, due to that ratchet mechanism, due to that same exact fit every time you put this on your foot, I would say the monkey feet has the edge there. Next would be versatility, and I would give the Omni Strap the edge for sure on versatility. Uh, this is because if you look at any of the negative reviews on the monkey feet, you will see that people with sized uh, 14, 15, uh, even some people size 13 feet, they find the monkey feet impossible to use while they're wearing shoes. Their foot just cannot go in that footbed. Uh, Omni strap, doesn't matter what kind of foot you have. If you have a size 20 foot, as long as you can get this strap around the weight, around the top of your foot, this will secure to your foot. Additionally, versatility in terms of the exercises you can do, uh, again, as I mentioned, Omni strap, you can do tib raises, you can do all sorts of ankle movements. So in terms of the usability exercise you can do, the Omni strap takes it there. In terms of build quality, it's tough. Both products are built so differently. There's such a different paradigm to how they were built that uh, it's, it's really hard to say uh, which one has the better build quality. As a whole, I think the Monkey Feet is the better built product. 
However, it's also the more expensive of the two. The main issue with the build quality for the monkey feet is that that top strap, uh, this plastic's gonna wear down. Uh, this plastic, you're gonna need to replace this top strap. That really sucks because that is a major component of the monkey feet. Conversely, uh, the Omni strap as well has a chance to wear out on that strap too. This strap, as I mentioned, it's gonna fray, it's gonna eventually wear down uh, with heavy use. Overall, I'm really splitting hairs here. Each product should last years if you treat them correctly. So in terms of build quality, I think I'm gonna give the edge to the monkey feet, but each of them at their price point is very well made and very worth uh, the money. The Omni Shop is the clear winner in terms of value. At under half the price of the monkey feet, it provides the same exact user experience as well as a couple more features and uh, just much more accessibility. This one's really tough for me because I really like the monkey feet, but at $80, it is almost impossible for me to recommend it over the Omni Strap. If the monkey feet were 50, maybe even $60, I think this would be a much harder choice. But when you have a $35 product that does the exact same thing and more than an $80 product, uh, you know what you know what you need to choose. <laughs> yes, a bit easier to use, uh, very solid build quality, some minor issues, but at $35, uh, come on. If I was Monkey Feet, I would find a way to lower the price of the Monkey Feet or perhaps introduce an Omni Strap clone or a cheaper alternative that someone can start using Monkey Feet, get into the brand, uh, maybe eventually upgrade to the Monkey Feet. But right now, uh, as I mentioned, there are so many companies offering so many alternatives that $80, it's, it's hard to pull the trigger on. And so they need to do something about that or else uh, they're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. In summary, I highly, highly recommend the Omni Strap due to its features, its decent build quality, and most importantly, its value. Nordstick often offers discounts on their website, so you can actually get one for $10 off if you bundle it with a Nordstick, <laughs> like I did here. Additionally, you could double up on the Omni Strap. That way you can do uh, hanging leg raises with uh, both legs. Uh, that's an option too. I do love my monkey feet, but given the choice, I would go with the Omni Strap every single time. And uh, you guessed it, uh, I'll be doing a review on the Nordstick Pro. Uh, this is the Pro version. Uh, think about doing comparison versus the Pro versus the original. So uh, definitely like, subscribe, uh, tune in for that. I'm really growing the channel. I'm at about 500 subscribers right now, which is amazing. Uh, it's it's incredible. Uh, I love the community. However, if I get to a thousand subscribers, I get monetized and I can start doing these reviews, uh, buying more products uh, with the money that I get from YouTube. Uh, that way my wife won't uh, yell at me because I keep buying so much crap. I mean, honestly, look at this. Look at this stuff. This, this thing. Look. I'm just, I'm just pulling stuff, it's everywhere. No, I didn't place this stuff here. It's literally, it's everywhere in the house. She's, she, she's so mad. I keep buying so much crap. As always, uh, thank you for sticking with me this far and I can't wait to see you do something amazing.